Okay, so you guys voted in to play Fabric Duran Totem. Oh, come on. I've only just spawned in and already the PhD flopper is getting axed. But I'm doing a community poll every single week where I just choose four maps. And yeah, you guys voted for this one. I believe this was one of the first maps to release on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies that was like really, really popular. Ted? I'm assuming not the robot Ted. Spawning in with the Mauser. I'm a big fan of this pistol. Probably my favorite starting pistol, honestly. I think I've upped the damage ratings though because I'm definitely doing more than uh, on Origins. Messing up my one hit knife skill stuff. We got a door here, which looks it looks so scuffed because it's just like cut in half. Do we go towards here? I see box over there. I'm going to open this door. We've got Crusader's Ale. This was one of the first maps to introduce this perk, as well as Madgaz Moonshine, I think is on this map, and Banana Colada. The Savior's Blood Will Flow. Excuse me? Is this a Walking Dead reference? Oh my god, this is actually quite creepy. We've got like a sewer. Oh shit. Um, this isn't good. I might die here. Oh, an insta-kill. Thank god. Never mind, I'm fine. And a carpenter. Oh, brilliant. We've got a Vesper on the wall. Uh, eh, you know, I'm, I'm okay. Probably got some kind of shield part just chilling around here somewhere. Oh, speak of the devil. I think that's Madgaz Moonshine, right? Where is the door to get out? Oh, is it here? Oh, there we go. Uh, must turn on the power first. Never mind. Ah, here's the door. You have to go around. We've got a VMP on the wall. Uh, oh, never mind. It's a weevil. That, that is definitely not the weevil cutout. Who knows? I'm not one to judge. I see Jug behind there, though. We, mm, it's 1500. I need a gun, so I'm going to buy the Weevil. To be completely honest, it's probably one of the best wall weapons we could get. Like, I'm not even memeing, because it's such a good point weapon. Oh, here we go. Pick up Compressor. I knew there'd be a part around it. Is this for a trample steam? Are we going to be... Is this Die Rise 2? Who the hell knows? We've got a max ammo. It didn't reload the gun for us, which is a bit tragic. I mean, this was an early map. I think it was 2018 it released. And I think BO3 mods only officially came out like mid-2017 or was it early 2017? Still though, um, let's go ahead and open the next door. Boom, boom, boom. We've got Jug right here and the power switch. Let's go. I always love when the power is quite simple to get to. We've got a buildable bench. Just some perks on the side here. Nice, a little fumigator. Kind of want to just save up for Jug now then. It's so cool because this, you can, yeah, you can get over here, but it's completely blocked off. Never, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, it's cool. You can see this side of the map, but you can't get in there. Ignore everything I'm saying. I am a dumbass. It's nice though. This map gives me old like World at War Black Ops 1 zombies vibes. Oh, a double points. Let me guess. End of the round, possibly. Yep, <laughs> last two. It is what it is, man. Can't escape it, even on these old-fashioned maps. PC Dev's office is locked. This has been nicknamed Mr. Dalek JD's office, apparently. According to a guide I looked up, because I just had a brief look to see um, the basics, you know. I like going into maps pretty much blind, but I also don't want to play like a complete chimp. All right, we can afford Jug now. Um, I kind of want to just grab that real quick. I'm going to do it, because we just got a bloody nuke. Nice. It said the box was around here, but I'm still not seeing it. Maybe it's in there. It looks like I've got some kind of a teleporter. All right, that's the round. Let's just open this door. I want to see what is going on. Deadshot Daiquiri. Okay. You can tell the map isn't like super polished in terms of graphics. I mean, it literally hasn't been updated since 2018, which I find kind of sad because it's a great map. We've got a button here. Okay. It's a great map, but it could do with some renovation, you know, like just some small minor tweaks to, uh, to the graphics and stuff. Well, I know for a fact I'm not buying Deadshot, so this room is pretty pointless. Link is not active. Okay, so at least we know when we have to link the pad. Um, I want to get out of here because we're going to get stuck and die, probably. Oh, good lord. What is... Ooh, there's a lot of zombies around here. Get the high ground. Get the high ground. This isn't Star Wars, but I mean, you know, principle is still the same. Oh my god, they come from this side too. Oh shit, I don't know what's happening. I need a gun. There's a KRM on the wall. Screw it, I'll take it. Any gun is better than no gun, even if it's creating headless zombies that still hit me. Fucking bastards. Pop to the head. There we go. I'm actually going to get that nuke. Screw it. Pick up double tap. The absolute goat perk. We've got a furnace here. Definitely part of an easter egg. I guess we'll open... Oh, is this door or is this door? Oh, we can't go that way. Never mind. This way it is. Is this spawn? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Just took me all the way back, but it's fine. We've got power on now, so we've unlocked a door somewhere. I forget what Crusader's Ale does. Isn't it like increased melee damage or double melee points? Which isn't bad, but I don't have a one-hit knife right now. So a little bit pointless. Um, 
Let's go up here. Hello, doggos. Hey, the mystery box. Let's go. And good old-fashioned stamina up. Hopefully we can get... I don't know what wonder weapon's on this map. But you're going to give me a pharaoh? I mean, I'll take it, but God. Anything? Something a little bit better? A VMP? <laughs> okay, fine. One more spin. The gambler's addiction right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. KN44, let's go. One of my favorite guns. Oh, look, there's a VMP on the wall. Is it? Oh, it actually is the VMP this time. See, it's definitely the same one. All right, well, I know there's a part probably in this building, but I'm going to drop down because we've got the best training spot ever right here. Look how big this area is. Kind of perfect, but we've got the teleporter we can link here. I think I remember playing this map all the way back when it first released. Kind of crazy to think that was six years ago. Like, God, where does time go? I don't know about you guys, but the KN44 is by far my favorite Black Ops 3 gun. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. Just the super fast reload. I mean, we don't even have speed cola yet, and look how fast this thing's going. Just because we have fast mags on it. It's so good. So, I don't usually like buying speed cola when I play zombies if I'm going for like high rounds or something. So it definitely appeals to me. Hello. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Screw it, we'll buy this. Mad Gaz Moonshine. I don't even remember what it does. I should remember considering we've played 50 perks a billion times, but um, we've got a teleporter in here. Ted! Oh, he's Ted from Transit. A fan? What is this, FNAF? I'm also in a really bad situation. I, I'm totally going to die here. This is not good. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't know what mag get- Oh, it's the one that explodes when I slide. That one is OP. Oh, God. That was almost a death. I'm, I've only got a pharaoh and double tap, so... Oh, this was the door we were supposed to go in anyway. Nice. Unintentionally went to the right area. I mean, uh, to be honest, pharaoh's not actually doing too bad right now. I'm slagging it off, but it's doing damage, so I appreciate you. God, every time I slide, just kaboom. <laughs> Well, um, what do we want then? Oh yes, the pad. No, we can't link it from here. We have to, mm, we have to find the first place to link it. Oh, duh, it's for teleporter, obviously. What is this? Ammo-matic, oh, remember when this was supposed to be in World at War? You buy it and it just gives you ammo. Like, <laughs> imagine not adding that, but anyway. Teleporter time, god, can I, can I see what I'm doing, please? This is meant to be like a Doris kind of remake, almost, or reimagining. Can definitely feel it in the gameplay. Oh, there's speed cola. There's quick revive. Where am I running to? Oh, it's here, right? Around this corner. Boom. Teleporter done. Now what? I'm guessing it takes us to pack a punch, so kind of no point in me going just yet. Oh, I see banana colada up there. Let's go. The perk that I'm pretty sure. Who was it? Was it Mr. T-Lexify that came up with that idea? I don't remember exactly, but I know it, he made a video on it. I think someone else had the idea and then he sort of publicized it and then it eventually became a perk, but it would have been nice if it was an actual perk in BO3, like the base game. Imagine if Gorod Krovi had an extra perk, bro. That would have been so cool. Oh, speak of the K and it's in the same place as the giant. I'm gonna scan for, oh my god, just a bunch of Reagan Mark IIs. This reminds me of the Family Guy map. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. I just go and visit an old map from like six years ago and reminds me of one that released like two days ago. Please give me some juggernog to make me strong. What? Do we have to find a jug bottle of some kind? <laughs> this guy just wants to become a beast. Okay, fair enough. Oh, pick up screen. Trample steam part number two. And I can actually pick up more than one at a time. What a concept, bro. The one thing I like is Mad Gaz Moonshine and Banana Colada. They really work well together. So it's the synergy of both the perks, since obviously they both involve sliding. That's one thing I think the regular perks sort of miss a little bit, is that there's no real synergy. They all give you important bonuses, like, you know, Double Tap increases your damage. Juggernog increases your health. Death Machine just gives you a gun to shoot, which is nice. It's like a, a free max ammo that also kills. But it would be so cool if, kind of like how Black Ops 4 did the modifiers, if they had, like, a way that a certain perk combos would have different effects, you know? The more I think about it, that's a really cool idea. I'm surprised they've not done that yet because I really liked, you know, the Cold War Zombies alternate ammo types because they do increased damage or like are better against certain opponents. Like Brain Rot is very good against the Mimics, for example. It's just a cool concept. But it's nice. I like how the uh, the new perks are on top of the old perks. But here we go. Now we slide around with this little goop everywhere. No perk limit too. God bless. 
Looks like we have one left. That that nuke somehow managed to... Oh, never mind. There's, there's a couple. I think you're the last one. Okay, well, how are we going to find the par? We've got Bowie Knife there, so we could get Crusader's Ale or whatever. Uh, I mean, it's like... It's 2,000 points and then 3k. I don't have enough for it anyway. What have we got around here? There's totally going to be a part in this room, man. Can't build the Trample Steam yet. We need one more of those parts as well. Just not knowing where it's going to be. It could be we have to teleport first to get the last one. That might make sense. I love just having to hug every single wall not knowing okay i'm screwing the round i'm too impatient bro could really do with a new gun oh never mind we've got dogs let's go can I open this door for 1500 we haven't actually been towards speed cola yet screw it let's go this way oh my god yeah there we go see last part for the trample steam is just here i don't know why we need it though like is there an area we can't get to without the trample steam that would kind of make sense oh we can open this door from the other side this way that's cool well, I want to get some more points first. I kind of want to pack a punch before, but uh, we should go and build the trample steam first, actually. So at the end of this round, I'll do that. Then we'll try teleporting. And who knows? It's a really cool idea for a map, though. Just like a big factory. Because I guess it's similar to Darice in a way. I think Fabric Durin Toten literally translates to Factory of the Dead, but it's more like, it gives me like Victorian factory kind of vibes. And considering this is set in obviously World War II Germany, I'm going to assume that the uh, the word who I will not say at risk of demonetization probably took it over like 20, 30 years later, however long it was. I do love history. History is great. I was never, like, amazing at history, but I still very much enjoyed it. I think I got, like, a B in GCSE history or something, which, you know, pretty decent. It's just one of those things where you kind of want to, like, you do a history degree to then specify in one aspect of history, and then you become really good at that. But the problem I have with GCSEs is just, for some of it, you have to do the exams based on aspects of history you don't even enjoy, which I just find kind of meh, you know? Like, if I'm really not a fan of the Roman Empire history, for example, we don't have all the parts, damn it. But if I'm really not a fan of it, then why should I have to do an exam on it? Why can I not choose the curriculum? But obviously the answer to that would be you'd have classes with like five or six people in and it wouldn't work. But still, that's like the problem conceptually with the schooling system. How did I get on this conversation? We're just playing zombies, bro. But you know, it's just how my brain works, I guess. Well, I've scanned up and down for this goddamn thing. So I'm I'm going to assume the last trample steam part is going to be in the teleporter. Let's go. Let's see what it's like. We can go pack a punch. That's me assuming we're going to the pack a punch. We're, we're in Mob of the Dead. <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'll pick up Electric Cherry then. Sure. That's so sick. What? I don't see any parts. Let's just scan real quick. No, I don't think so. This was before Blood of the Dead came out as well. I think that's why they made this as sort of like a... um precursor since the hype for Mob was at peak back then. But now we're in the Kino Pack-A-Punch room, it looks like. Oh, that's cool. Those who escape hell and never talk about it. I suppose that's true. Wouldn't they also be dead, though? I've got a Reagan Mark II here, which I would love to pick up, but well, I'm not seeing anything we can pick up. Okay, well, I mean, at least we got Pack-A-Punch. I'll, I'll say that. I just ended the round back. Sorry, I just totally obliterated you, zombie. Ooh, camos, let's go. I still get so many comments of people asking like, oh, how are you leveling up in custom zombies? Basically, I'm still using the boy client. I do not advocate for it. You cannot get it anymore. I literally just use it offline for FPS stability fixes while I'm recording because, you know, standard BO3 is very laggy. Just ended the round, didn't I? I didn't. Oh, thank God. There's like two left. Kill you. Where the freaking God is this stupid part? Like, I am not blind, right? Oh, the zombie, can you chill? Never mind, I'm a complete idiot. Apparently the last part is in this area. But I don't know if it's on this floor, the one below me, and there are a lot of zombies right now, so I'm kind of just going to uh, dip. But it's in there somewhere. I mean, it's kind of good because we I, I also want to hit the mystery box. We're running really low on ammo. Never mind, we have a fucking max. Every time I speak, bro, double points though. I'll actually use the Pharaoh then. I think Crusader's Ale, not Crusader's Ale, Madgaz Moonshine is giving us like burn damage, which is cool. Oh, a death machine. Actually, I mean, it's good, but do I want to get it? I suppose. I mean, I just don't want to end the round by accident. <laughs> this is why you don't pick it up, man. As good as it is. Come on, part. I'll just hit the box. I don't know. Am I really this blind? Brecci, I'll take it. Oh, I can't buy stamina. <gasps> There's actually a perk limit as well. That's just, it's getting worse and worse by the minute. We're on the last dog as well. Oh, <laughs> Okay, since I can't do the trample steam, let's shoot some bananas. And no, I'm not kidding. There's apparently bananas outside the map. There's one. I think. Did we shoot it? Yep, we definitely did. Next one over here. Next one's in the sewers. Uh, oh, oh. 
Oh, screw it. I'll go now. Very, very risky, but whatever. Uh, bananas? Bananas? I don't see bananas. Q? I don't know. I, I don't think it's there. I think it's the other side. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> Why am I doing this now? I don't know. Here we go. It's somewhere. I don't even see it. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> good thing I have this pack of punched gun then, isn't it? Huh? We have so many points as well. Holy shit. Just got to drop. What's that? Carpenter. Not exactly what I need, but I'll take it. Is that the end of the round? Please don't end the round. I don't know if I shot it. I think you can just about see. I don't know. It's somewhere there. It's really hard to see with this stupid light on. Okay, and then the last three, we need to teleport anyway to do it. Okay, cool. Should have expected that, I suppose. All right, well, I'm going to hit the box one more time. We'll see what we can get here. And I'll pack a punch it as long as it's decent. Are you seriously going to give me a pharaoh back again? Come on, man. I, I deserve a little bit better than that. Not a locust. Oh, teddy bear. Oh my god, dude. At this point, I'm going to buy the BMP and I'm just going to go pack a punch that. All right. Link pad. I think I'm going the literal longest way possible to get there, but it's fine. Also, because there's a six perk limit, apparently I made a mistake and I can't get the perk that's in the secret room that we're going to unlock. So that's just brilliant, isn't it? So all of this is kind of for nothing, isn't it? But it's the principle of it. I've got to get it done. Completionism and all that. Or I could just have a tactical down, I suppose. Oh well, let's go. So we have to shoot a banana in the next area we get teleported to, which is Mob of the Dead again. Okay, fair enough. Where is the fucking banana? Why do they... The sinks just disappear. That's not helpful. It's supposed to be a banana in one of the... There we go. Jesus. Very cool looking room though, I'm not going to lie. All right, pack a punch. This and yeah, the banana is just chilling up here. Cool. Done. The impaler. I mean, we might as well get some alternate ammo types because why not? Fireworks and sure, I'll do this one as well. Had a blast furnace. Ooh, a white camo. I don't think this was on the original um, Derizon Drock, was it? They made a custom white version. I really like that. I mean, it does look a bit misty or like cloudy, but I can always appreciate the uh, ingenuity. So we still need to teleport again. So we're just going to go next round and wait until this recharges. Only downside with fireworks. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it has a long cooldown at least, but... If it does proc, we don't get points for all the zombie kills. I don't know why, because it would make so much sense. Like, it's still us killing the zombies. We put the ammo mod on, but... Same with turned as well. God. Ooh, 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 that was close. I'm fine though. We're good. Zombies are mighty aggressive. I'm going to just use blast furnace. I can't. Oh, there's a man of war there. I could have bought that. Um, I guess maybe we'll do that next time we go. All right. I think that's the round. Fuck. I don't want to end it. Link pad... I don't even want to shoot them because the stupid fireworks will activate. Oh, whatever. Just do it. Ah, please don't end the round. Okay, good. Go and link the pad. Go around this corner. Okay, nice. Oh, God. Wait for the stupid zombie. Get down the stairs, you. I'm sliding. Hopefully that doesn't just end the round. That would suck. All right, here we go. Man of War. And it's actually going to take us to, hopefully, why is it taking us to mob again? It's supposed to take us to Origins, bro. I was going to make a cool little like, oh my god, ta-da. But no, it took me to mob three times in a row. It's a 50-50 chance. That's just, that's just typical really, isn't it? Just when I want to show something off. Fine. I still get to pack a punch my gun. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, here we go. I love how this is totally just like a, a blank wall that it's just staring at. Why is it staring at that? I don't know. Ooh, this is a nice camo. I don't even want to repap it, to be honest, in case we get like turned or something, you know? It'd be so cool if I could just pick up this Rego Mark II. Why you tease me like this, man? So annoying as well. I look on the bottom right and I just got all those parts. I would love to use them. Well, now we just wait for this to come back again. The worst part, okay, here we go. To be fair, that's not actually a very long amount of time to wait. Credit where credit is due. We've got double points, nice. And an insta kill, oh, okay actually pretty decent i mean it's not like the man of war is bad or anything but these zombies are pretty aggressive i'm not gonna lie oh a fire sale i mean i suppose that would also be quite nice is there a box around here there is let's go sure i'll have a couple spins what are we gonna get a dingo okay i'll take a dingo oh, are you the last one as well perfect timing dude a vmp again i literally just got rid of that not too long ago link pad again Oh, wait for the stupid... <laughs> Deja vu. Now nah, I'm just going to slide. I don't even care. Get me out. Oh my... I just like slide cancelled and it went so fast. Sheesh. Also, that's definitely one extra green light on. Is that some kind of Easter egg? Who knows? Are you... So uh -huh. I'm not going to lose my mind. How can you take me back to mob again? 
four times in a row. There's nothing that pisses me off more than just complete RNG shit like that. If you don't know what RNG means, it's like random number generator. So basically things that will happen that are completely out of your control. Randomly, they will occur. I like it when it's in the context of, say, cause and effect, where every round something different changes. You know, that's cool. But not when I'm trying to actually do something. Oh, dead wire with the blue camo. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Like, come on, bro. Maybe I have to throw grenades. Because why can I buy grenades on the wall there, you know? Is this going to do something? Maybe? I don't fucking know. Now I've got to wait again to teleport. I can initiate the link again, though. Like, that's pretty quick. Does slightly make up for the absolute just pain. All right, link pad for the third time. Wait for the zombie to run down here. Okay, teleport for the fifth time. Surely this one will be different. Hopefully. Oh my god! Oh, I don't even have words. I don't even have words. I can't even do the next step of the Easter egg until I get this stupid shit done. This is what I mean, though. Like, modern day custom zombies maps would not have this problem. We've kind of reached the point where they're so polished. Or not even that they're polished. The fact that the developers would actually make an effort to fix this kind of stuff. Like, come on. It's not fun. It's just annoying for the person who's playing the map. Like, I kind of just want to alt F4 right now, you know? Outside of that, map's great. Also, refilled current weapon is actually 5,000 points. That's so expensive. I think that's relative to what it would have been in World of War, like in the code, but still. Oh, the box is actually up there, at least. I mean, that's nice. Initiate link. Did I do it? Yeah, I did. Slide speed running so I can hopefully get up there before the zombie. Yes, let's go. I don't think Banana Colada can actually kill the zombie. It just, like, knocks it over, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, teleport. For the love of all that's holy, please take me to... Oh, Origins at last. Now, where the hell is this banana I'm looking for? Oh my god, it's here. Let's go. Thank you for being in an easy place to get as well. And yeah, Widows is here. I would have loved to pick it up, but sadly cannot. I want to check if the trample steam part's going to be here. This would be the last location I would think of. Nope. Nope, it's not. But we have all of them now. Like, we're collecting bananas, bro. What is this Easter egg? A bit goofy. I mean, I, I don't mind goofy Easter eggs, but I'm just salty because of how many tries that actually took. I just got very unlucky, you know? It's a coin flip chance. My inner Raid Shadow Legends fucking purchasing is taking a toll, apparently. But now we've done that. We go all the way back over here. We have an upgraded ray gun. Oh, that's so cool. We picked that up. Nice. That's awesome. So the next step of the Easter egg is something to do with these. We have to like fill them up with souls, but I'm not seeing it purple yet. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. You're supposed to shoot it with with the hello. You're supposed to shoot it with the the ray gun. Hello. Oh, there we go. It is doing it. Yeah, you see how the soul went into it? It's just not got the uh, the aesthetic for whatever reason. So yeah, we fill this up until it explodes, and then we go and pick up something from up there. Wow, let's buy claymores, because why not? What button even is claymores? Three, apparently. Screw it. Claymore down. Kaboom. Okay, they're actually they're actually kind of... Whoa! I was going to say they're kind of good, but didn't one-shot those two zombies, so... Still, I mean, this map's cool and all. I like it. The aesthetic's great. Ow, how am I red screened, bro? Anyway, just kill a bunch of these. Come on, die, 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 die. Hello, Sprinter. Almost killed me. Don't think it's quite full yet. No, not quite. Every custom zombies map ever always has a soul box. There we go. Kaboom. That one's done. I think it acted... Oh, that's what it did. It made the tank fire. And then we go up here. We have the Juggernaut bottle. And now we can take that over here. So at least we're actually making progress. I guess there's that. But boom. Here you go. What is... He, he's talking now. Oh, he's a soul box. What on earth? So now he is empowered. Bro had an axe in the head. How is this making you, like, function? I don't know, but still. I'm not going to question it because it's kind of cool. <laughs> we got a Shiva. Why am I even hitting the box? I got a Ray Gun. My, my luck isn't going to get much better than that. I wonder if dogs count for the souls. Usually not, but some custom maps actually put it in. Have a look, shall we? Oh my god, it does! Okay, W there. Actually a good addition. I don't think it'll be enough, but still, it's nice. And before doing this just unlocks a buyable ending. That's, that's usually how these maps kind of go, but we'll see. I just remember that this used to be rated so highly, it was like on par with some of the actual maps in some people's opinion back when it released. You know, to each their own. I just realized that's why I keep getting slapped. I don't have stamina, but I'm running around with a dingo. That does indeed make sense. Okay. Wee, I'm gonna slide. Slip over all the zombies. Hey, get trolled, bitches. 
Anyway, I'm going to take them up here. Come on, hurry your asses up. Fill up the old soul box. Come on. Oh, a death machine. Perfect. That should hopefully do it all. They're literally just running into the line of fire. I love it. How many do you need, bro? At least they're all running on this side. I appreciate that. There we go. God, took your time. Now what? Apparently we have to survive a little bit longer. What does that mean? Well, I don't see a viable ending yet. So that's a good sign. I think we've got like one zombie left. Okay, we can actually go into the room now at least. I'm going to drop down here. The zombie's burning, which I'm not a fan of because it's going to die eventually. Get in the water, bro. You're in water. Stop burning. But whatever. We go to Ted, pick up the PC dev's key. And now we can actually go into this room. So I don't know what the hell the trample steam's for. I swear to God, if the part is actually in this room, I'm going to be so mad because I've spent so long looking for it. But I'm actually going to die. Here we go. Die. I ended the round, of course. But I want to pick up perk a lot and see what it does. I'm assuming it just gives us all of the perks, which is really cool if it does. It costs 10,000. Here we go. Buy. Boom. Oh my God, it actually does. That is so cool. And we have an MG42 on the wall. I'd love to pick that up, but right now I'm kind of... um. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, kind of. We have Widow's Wine now, which is good. Ow, God, move! No. I don't want to die already. Christ above. But that's actually it for the Easter egg. I mean, it's only a, a small... I wouldn't say it's like a main Easter egg or anything. I was kind of expecting something a bit more lengthy. But regardless, having a perk that just gives you all the perks, I cannot complain at all. That's really cool. Just going to slide... Oh my god, I fell down. Oops. <laughs> Not what I intended to do, but it's fine. I can loop back and I can buy... Screw the ray gun, man. I want the MG42. Never mind, I have mule kick. <laughs> but I can link this pad as well. Hello? MG42, deal damage, please. Oh my god. I was expecting it to one-shot. I know it's not packed, but Christ, just sliding around like a maniac and just kill them all. We can go pack a punch this in a second. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll just go now, honestly. Spray down. Wee! Da -da 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 -da. Let me guess. Mob again? Oh no, of course now I get taken to Origins reliably. You fucking troll. Oh my god. Tra Never mind. I thought that was a trample steam part. I'm literally like envisioning it. I'm, I'm like drunk. What's that thing? You know when you're on um or in a desert and you're just like really, really thirsty. So you start to hallucinate. I'm, I'm pretending I can see the parts. All right, cool. Well, we have that now. Can't pick up the ray gun, Sag, but it's fine. The Barracuda Fuwow. All right, let's end this round. I think that's pretty much everything for the map, though. I don't think we've unlocked anything new or bonus or anything. There's a little 115 crystal over there. Still don't know where this goddamn... <laughs> Trample steam part is completely evaded me, apparently. I mean, I'll just have a look. I, I've got stamina up now, so it means no more interactable things other than barriers. Like, am I really just this blind? Where is it? Is it on, like, the wall here or something? Or, God, insta-kill plus this? Oh, it absolutely melts. I wonder if we have a one-hit knife, other than insta-kill, obviously, but I'm just curious because, um, no, we don't. Oh, never mind. It's like a two-hit. That's not bad. That's Crusader's Ale for you. And I have backed myself into a corner. This isn't good. I am actually in a sticky situation. Oh, shit. I'm spraying. I'm somehow alive. Not for long, though. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to vote on the poll for the next community map. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.